Hello everyone. So, recently made the change over from Windows Phone 7 on my HD2 uh, over to, um, I'm back over to Android. Had it dual booted for a while, Windows Mobile 6.5 and then Froyo. Um, then when the Windows 7 port came out for the HD2, I flashed the entire phone over and I've been running that. But the problem with Windows Phone 7, it, it, the, the amount of applications that are out there for it uh, versus what's out there for iOS or Android, it, it just doesn't compare. The phone's only as good as the applications. So, for starters, I wiped out the entire phone. And now I'm running a NAND installation of Honeycomb, Android Honeycomb on here. Runs great, no issues. Everything's nice and fluid. Um, all my application and marketplace works wonderful. Uh, recognizes the entire SD card. There were some complications from going to Windows 7, Windows Phone 7 over to Android. Um, by virtue of how Windows Phone 7 installs, uh, it, it basically takes over your entire SD card. And when I went ahead to install Android, that became something of a problem. It didn't recognize it because of a hidden partition. So keep in mind, if you are going from Windows Phone 7 back over to Android for that matter, you will need to get a third party application that, which will allow you to blow out the um, partition on the SD card. So once you have that on there and you're able to uh, blow out that partition, essentially just make it like a standard FAT32 uh, one partition on the SD card, <clears throat> you would go ahead and I'll provide all the links of, as to how I did it uh, in the description field, but essentially you would go ahead and um, put the build, the desire build, on the SD card itself. You would update your mag loader, you would go into the mag loader and essentially point to that zip file which is on the SD card and it essentially builds itself out. I think it took about five minutes, six minutes or so. There were a couple of moments where I thought it froze. It didn't freeze. It just takes a little time. Uh, but it's quite it's quite painless actually and I have zero regrets. I mean I've got this thing is almost full with every and any application I could possibly ask for. Uh, my battery lasts twice as long with Android as it did with Windows Phone 7. It doesn't get hot. It seems to run a lot faster. Um, no real issues other than the fact that with this build, for whatever reason, it takes about three and a half, four minutes to start the phone up. Is it a deal breaker? No. I only turn my phone off, you know, once a day, and that's at nighttime when I charge it. Um, but other than that, you know, it's just a slight inconvenience to have everything run as nice as it does. Uh, you go back here, you guys, you see I'm running Desire HD. Uh, da, 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 what else I want to look for? Where is software information? Android 235 HTC Sense version 3. And the software number. It's only two, three weeks old, this build. And it's been running great. Uh, all my augmented reality applications work great. The camera works 10 times better on this than it does with Windows Phone 7. I have the ability to upload to YouTube, which I didn't before. All in all, if you're thinking about making the plunge, if you're going from Windows 6.5, by all means, go ahead and do this uh, and do the NAND installation. I used to have the SD card installation when I had it dual booted from 6.5 over to Froyo, and it ran fine, but it is nicer when it's on a NAND install. Um, if you're running Windows Phone 7, again, it's a great operating system. Uh, I had no problems with the phone, other than the fact that just the amount of applications that are out there were not for Windows Phone 7. I'd never found any augmented reality things. The games were quite lousy. The phone, the, ca the camera and the phone didn't really seem to work that great. Uh, no HBO Go, no Crackle, none of my E-Trade applications, only third-party Dropbox stuff. Facebook was crummy. Um, no wireless tethering. With this, I could do wireless tethering for my iPad. Um, on and on it goes. So, yeah, if you're thinking about making it, uh, doing is go for it. If you have any questions, you know, ask me. I'll gladly help you out. As you can see, it works wonderful. Um, the media player works great. Scans the SD card. Um, everything is in here. Oops, my fault. Double click on it, and actually, you can go ahead and traverse your entire list of everything that's on the SD card. I don't have a lot on here right now. I've only got a couple of gigs of stuff. But uh, and that's it. If you have any questions? Let me know. Enjoy.